Welcome back everybody to the fourth video tutorial of the Netgear Aircard Smart Cradle model DC112A. Uh, in this particular video tutorial I will demonstrate how to configure the Aircard Smart Cradle for WAN to WAN failover. Um, so basically what uh, this means is you can plug your existing fixed line uh, broadband connection um, into the back of this uh, smart cradle and if the smart cradle does detect that the broadband connection has dropped out it will actually fail over to the mobile hotspot um, so this will allow uh, your business uh, or your uh, home to be constantly connected um, and never drop out of internet uh, connectivity the first thing that we need to do is uh, from your existing broadband modem you'll need to plug an ethernet cable um, into one of the ethernet ports on that particular uh, modem um, and then the other end of the ethernet cable uh, you'll need to plug into the internet port of the smart cradle um, so in the internet port is the the port that is closest to the reset hole and the power button. Um, so what I'll do is I'll plug my yellow cable in. Now once you've done that, um, you need to actually configure the cradle into failover mode. Um, so I'll flip over to the uh, laptop screen um, to show you this particular method. Okay, so I've opened up my preferred web browser. Um, in this particular demonstration, it is Google Chrome. Um, and in the address bar of the web browser, uh, you need to type in 192.168.100.1 or netgear.cradle. So it takes you to the web user interface of uh, the Netgear um, Aircard Smart Cradle. Um, it uh, will ask you to log in with your uh, admin details. Uh, the default admin login details are actually located on the label which is underneath the cradle. Um, if you have modified these details and have forgotten it for some reason, um, the only way around it is to actually reset the cradle back to factory defaults. So um, if you <coughs> have a look at the link that's up on the screen at the moment, um, you can watch that video tutorial on how to reset the cradle back to factory defaults. So let's continue with this demonstration. Um, so you need to click on advanced. So once you're in advanced, you need to click on setup and then click on internet setup. And here under internet source, uh, you'll see a couple of options. So the default uh, option that's actually selected is only use your mobile broad broadband connection. Um, and that basically means that the cradle will only use your mobile hotspot once it's actually docked. Uh, the second option which we'll be using for this demonstration is failover mode. Um, so this will use your um, WAN connection, so your fixed line connection as your primary uh, method of internet. Um, and if it uh, detects that that connection has dropped out, it will then uh, switch over to the mobile hotspot as the backup solution. Uh, the third option here is only use as WAN port. Um, so this particular option uh, you'd only use if you uh, weren't going to dock your mobile hotspot and you just wanted you to use the Aircard Smart Cradle um, as a standalone router for your fixed line connection. Um, and make use of the uh, AC Wi-Fi capabilities. And the last option here is do not use internet, use Cradle for power charging only. So when that particular option is selected, um, all it will do is actually power up your uh, mobile hotspot and actually charge it. So what we want to do is we want to select failover mode, like so, uh, and then click on apply. And uh, we'll just wait a couple of minutes for it to uh, reboot and update the router. 
Okay, so once it's rebooted, it will take you back to the uh, web user interface. Um, and you can see that failover mode is actually selected. Um, so now we need to actually configure the failover settings. So just click on the button here that says failover settings, which will take you to this particular section here, which is the failover detection method. Now there's a couple of options here. The first one is DNS lookup using WAN DNS server. Um, so you can do a DNS lookup using your WAN DNS server um, and if that fails it will switch over to the mobile hotspot. Um, the second option here is DNS lookup via a hostname or by a hostname. Um, so you can do a DNS lookup via a, a hostname and if, if that fails to detect or it fails to get to that um, or look up that particular hostname, uh, it will fail over to your mobile hotspot. And the last option here, which is the one that I will be using for this particular demonstration, is ping this IP address. Um, so that particular option, once selected, it will ping a particular IP address, either on your network or outside your network. And if it fails that ping, uh, it will actually switch over to your mobile hotspot. And these last two options, retry interval and failover after. So retry interval is uh, default with 30 seconds and the actual intervals uh, default to three. Um, so basically what this means is that the uh, cradle will ping an IP address uh, three times of 30 seconds. So it will ping the first time. Um, and if that fails, it will actually wait 30 seconds uh, it will then ping a second time. If that fails, it will wait another 30 seconds and then it will ping a third time. Uh, if the third ping fails, it will then switch over to your mobile hotspot. So you can modify these settings. Um, so with the retrial interval, it needs to be in seconds um, and the failover after is uh, however many intervals you'd, you'd like to, that to be set to. So I'll leave it at the default of 30 seconds uh, and 3 intervals and I'll use the IP address for Google which is 8.8.8.8 .8 and then again I'll click on apply and wait for the settings to take effect and for the router to reboot. Okay, it's saying it's not connected. Um, give it a little while for it to actually pick up your fixed line broadband connection. Um, to check if it's correctly configured, you can actually check to see if it's been assigned an IP address here from your fixed line router. Um, so, looking at this, it's actually picked up the an IP address from my fixed line connection. Um, so I can see that the uh, smart cradle is using my fixed line uh, broadband connection as its uh, primary internet connection. Go back here, it should update. Okay, so it's saying status is good and it's in backup mode. Um, so advanced, it shows me that, yep, I've still got my IP address assigned from my fixed uh, line connection. So now what I'll do is I'm going to demonstrate the failover method or the f how it actually fails over. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the Ethernet cable uh, from my modem to my to my aircard smart cradle um, and then see that it fails over to the mobile hotspot and uh, the way you can uh, determine that it's failed over to your mobile hotspot it should start assigning an IP address here um, from your mobile hotspot to the HCP so I'm going to unplug the cable now it should take about a minute and a half for it to actually fail over Okay, it's saying that it's not connected anymore, which is correct because I've unplugged my cable. Yep, I've lost uh, my IP address from my fixed line connection. So shortly it should pick up my mobile broadband connection. Okay, so now it's saying status is good, connected to Telstra. Um, and it's no longer in backup mode, which usually indicates that it's actually failed over to your mobile hotspot. Um, so now if I click on advanced, I should see an IP address assigned from my mobile hotspot. 
and also the uh, gateway of my mobile hotspot. So that, uh, this particular demonstration uh, has shown you how to configure the uh, WAN failover um, and also it actually has shown you how the smart cradle fails over to your mobile hotspot if your fixed line connection has actually dropped out. Uh, I hope this tutorial has been useful. Um, please leave a comment um, on any feedback you'd like to give on these particular video tutorials. Uh, thanks again for watching.